Today I'm here with an exciting video. I'm going to show you guys my top most owned authors because you know, once you find an author you love, you can't help but buying all their books. It's a thing, and it's a thing I have done. Hello everyone, it is Samantha. I hope you guys are having a great one. I am excited about today's video. It's one I've never done on my channel, but I've seen a lot in other people's channels, and that is my top most owned authors. So I have quite a few, and I'm excited to share them with you guys. I decided to include in this video authors in which I own four books or more from them. I consider anything four and up to be a pretty decent amount owned by authors, so I think that's a good place to start. I'm also going to start with the smallest and work my way up to the largest amount of books. So let us get started. At four books, the first author that I am mentioning is Christopher Paolini, and his books that I own are Aragon, Eldest, Brisinger, and Inheritance. And uh, he is writing more books. He's writing a new book and another new book set in this world, and I cannot wait. So excited. So soon he will have more than four books on my shelf. The next author that I own four books from is Gerald Morris, and the books that I own by him include The Squire's Tales, The Squire, The Knight, and His Lady, Lioness and Her Knight, and The Quest of the Fair Unknown. Gerald Morris writes are three enemy tellings that I absolutely love. They're middle grade and sort of YA and the later ones. They're excellent. Highly recommend them for a starting place for Arthurian legends. And I need to get this entire series. I think this entire series consists of about 10 plus books and I haven't even read the last couple. So my overarching goal is to one day own them all. And my last four book author is Ray Carson. And the books that I own from her include The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Bitter Kingdom, Crown of Embers, and they recently published Walk on Earth a Stranger. I still need to finish the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy. It's going to happen this year, and I'm going to be starting this one next month, and I can't wait because I read Girl of Fire and Thorns, absolutely loved it, and cannot wait to read the rest of her books. And my next most owned author is going to Sherwood Smith. I own six of her books. Those books include Crown Duel and Court Duel, Inda, The Fox, King's Shield, Treason Shore, and Banner of the Damned. This is one of my favorite fantasy authors. I love the Inda series. This also takes place, her other books that I own also take place in the same world, just far in the future. And there's still a couple of hers that I need to read, including this one, so I need to get on that. Next author that I own six books is Michael J. Sullivan. The first one is The Theft of Swords, Rise of Empire, Heir of Novron, and then on my Kindle I also own The Crown Tower, The Rose and Thorn, and The Death of Dolgath. He's one of my autobi authors, so he has a book coming out this year that I'm definitely going to be buying, and I cannot wait. The next author that I own six books from is Mr. J.R.R. Tolkien, and the books that I own from him include The Children of Hirin, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I also own the Tolkien and Illustrated Atlas, which technically wasn't just written by Tolkien, it actually has to do with stuff about his world, but I'm going to include it anyway because it has to do with Tolkien and he's kind of like the mastermind behind the book since he created the world and whatnot. The next author that I own five books from is Lloyd Alexander, and the books that I own from him include The Book of Three, The Black Cauldron, The Castle of Lear, Terran Wanderer, and The High King. This is the this is a wonderful middle grade slash YA towards the end fantasy series that I loved as a kid. It's actually what the Disney movie The Black Cauldron is based on. However, the Black Cauldron movie sucks and is completely different from the books and I don't recommend it. And yes, I'm still bitter about that. Coming in at nine books is Rick Riordan. The books I own by him are Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, and Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. I then also own The Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, and House of Hades. I still need to get the other two books in the Heroes of Olympus series. Oops. And then the final book I own by him is of course the Magnus Chase, The Sword of Summer, the first book in the Gods of Asgard series. Yay! Coming in at 10 books is one of my favorite authors, Miss Ellen Montgomery. And the books that I own by her include Emily of New Moon, Emily Climbs, Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, Anne of the Island, Anne of Windy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and Rilla of Ingleside. Love her books so much and definitely giving them a reread this year. Also coming in at 10 books is that wonderful author J.K. Rowling. And of course the books I own by her are Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Tales of Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Quidditch Through the Ages. I also own the Harry Potter series and these little new paperback editions, so I guess it would be more than 10 if I included these, but they're kind of like duplicates of the hardcovers, original hardcovers I owned, but I still own this seven as well. I'm coming down now to my last two authors, and neither of them should come as any surprise. The first one, of course, is Robin Hobb. I own 17 books by Robin Hobb, the first of which is Assassin's Apprentice, which I'm currently loading out right now. The second one is Royal's Assassin. Assassin's Quest, Ship of Magic, Mad Ship, 
Ship of Destiny, Fool's Errand, The Golden Fool, which I'm also learning out right now, Fool's Fate, and my favorite, Dragon Keeper, Dragon Haven, Blood of Dragons, and finally City of Dragons. I then own Fool's Assassin, and I also own Fool's Quest on Kindle. I also own her Soldier Sun trilogy on Kindle, and that includes Shaman's Crossing, Forest Mage, and Renegade's Magic, and I'm hoping to get to those this month. And coming in at 22, my most owned author goes to Tamara Pierce, that wonderful YA middle grade author. So much love. And the books I own by her include the Lion Song of the Lioness Quartet, the first book of which is Alana. Book two is In Hands of the Goddess. Book three is The Woman Who rides like a man and finally book five is lioness rampant the next quartet owned by her is the immortals quartet which includes wild magic wolf speaker emperor mage and in realms of the gods i then own trickster's choice and trickster's queen next is the becca cooper trilogy which consists of terrier and then i also own bloodhound and mastiff on my kindle and then for her circle of magic books i own sandry's book triss's book daja's book and Briar's book. Then I also own the Circle Opens Quartet, which includes Magic Steps, Street Magic, Cold Fire, and Shatter Glass. And then I also own In the Will of the Empress by her. I still have a few books I need to get by her, including the Protector of the Small Quartet, but they're coming out with these covers for that, that quartet next year, which I'm going to be picking up. So as you can tell, she's one of my favorite authors. She's quite good. All right, guys, that is it for my most owned authors video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what authors I own the most books from. You'll have to let me know what your most owned author is and if you read any of these series and if you like them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading. Bye. Mm -hmm.